All right, let's go ahead and get started with our focus group. Everybody, thanks for being with us. Our first topic is Donald Trump. I respect women. I love women. I cherish women. Raise your hand if you agree with Donald Trump on this issue. His directness might throw some people off. It does not throw me off at all. I appreciate it. Here's a guy. He was impeached because he lied. Do you remember the famous, I did not have sex with that woman. And then a couple of months later, I'm guilty. There is nobody that was worse. Nobody. Do you think this will help Donald Trump? Hillary Clinton uh, features herself as a feminist. And yet with all this going on with her husband in the White House, she was never there with the women who he abused. And are you worried that your past could hurt your wife's campaign? I don't have any response. If he wins the Republican nomination, we'll have plenty of time to talk about it. Or if Hillary wins, I think it's a, I'm not, I have no interest in getting involved in their politics or doing anything except trying to help Hillary. You know, I think that uh, he is fair game because he's a past president. I am not going to respond to the insults and the attacks coming from Donald Trump in this campaign. I think women will get to choose who the next president of the United States is going to be. And I do very strongly believe that both candidates have to start addressing issues that are very important to women. That includes uh, equal pay, that includes women's rights, health care, job opportunities, education. And I personally haven't heard either candidates really address those issues in any depth. Then deal me in! Who do you think is the best person to represent women in the White House? I think it's Donald Trump. Boom! 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 And I think that um, there are a lot of single issue, single issue voters who are women, but I think when it comes down to voting for who's best for our country as far as security is concerned, um, and a lot of other and economics, because if you're not economically sound, social programs don't matter. Security doesn't matter. You have to be economically sound. The issue of women's rights, and for me that's really important because that is all-encompassing. It encompasses economics. It encompasses health. It encompasses so many different areas, and for me that, that is really important when I look and evaluate both candidates. I'm very much undecided right now. I think the issue is not so much women. I think all those issues are issues that people in general care about, and I'm still waiting to see how, what the real policies are beyond the rhetoric and the headlines. I'll throw out a couple ideas. Guys, raise your hand if this is the most important issue to you. The economy. Okay. Security. All right. The most important issue, Tom, you can't pick all one, or maybe they're all the same. <laughs> How about immigration? How about immigration? Who's going to vote decided on immigration? All right. You think immigration? Let's talk about that. Why do you think this is the most important issue to you? We'll build the wall. Don't worry about it. Who's going to pay for the wall? Not even a doubt, okay? As far as raising the borders from Mexico, I think that's very important because we do have a lot of illegal, uh, illegal immigrants and they are taking jobs away from Americans. Tom, you're retired law enforcement. Tell us why you think this would work. It's not just Mexicans that are coming in. Uh, we've had terrorism come in through the borders from the south. Um, there's been mass killings down there along that border south of the Rio Grande. So I think it's important that uh, we do that. If they want to come in, they come in through the front door illegally. John? Yes, I think the, we mentioned the wall earlier, and I think it's as much a symbol, like the Statue of Liberty, it's a symbol of something. It's a symbol of resistance. You will no longer, America has never been viewed as, as weakly as we are now. I mean, we're ignored by the rest of the world. Uh, our, our armed forces, I've been in the military myself, the armed forces, we have to keep in mind, the president will be commander in chief. I have some concerns about Donald Trump. I also have some concerns about Hillary Clinton in terms of respect. My colleagues, the chatter is off the charts on both sides and, you know, joking, but I hope Costa Rica has a lot of room for Americans to come down, no matter who wins. There's a lot of people who just feel that there's a lack of real understanding or taking the national security situation by either seriously. But by even Hillary Clinton, who has a lot of experience. Okay, now we're going to play word association. We're going to ask the voters how they feel about the presumptive nominees. One word description. Tell us how you feel about Hillary Clinton. Opportunistic. Deceitful. Dishonest. Anti-police. Untrustworthy. Unclear. Determined. Okay, next up, Donald Trump. One word to describe the way you feel about Donald Trump. Gutsy. Courageous. Strong. Strong. American. Bombastic. Controversial. Okay, so not exactly a scientific poll here, but at least we know where these folks stand. A nice cross-section of opinions. 